Hi, this is just a real quick demo to show you how to embed a Google Calendar into a Moodle course. Uh, we're going to be using the Boost theme on the most recent version of Moodle, 3.3 as of the recording of this video. So uh, the farther in time we go, the less accurate this video may become. But this should give you a good place to start, at least for the current time. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our Google Calendar, and we want to get the embed code for that. So you start in your Google account, and you find the calendar that you want to embed, and then we click on this little arrow right here next to the name of the calendar. From here, then, we want to go into the calendar settings, and you'll scroll down and you see this option right here where it says embed this calendar. So what we want to do is go over here to this link that says customize the color, size, and other options. Now when we go here, we have the ability to make some changes to the way that the calendar looks. So for example, if I want a month view, I can see that right here. And we can scroll through and see everything that's going on. You see I have a repeating event going on on each of those days. Um, and as you make changes to this calendar, after you've embedded it, all of those changes get pushed to it. So that's an important thing to remember. We can go in and customize the look and feel of this whole thing. Uh, because Moodle, uh, the Boost theme in Moodle is responsive, uh, you, you want to try and have responsive elements on it as well. However, I think it's good to keep your, uh, you're gonna need to, you need to set a fixed width and a fixed height for these particular objects. So my suggestion is to change your width from 800 pixels to 600 pixels, and then change your height from 600 pixels to 400 pixels. When you do that, it makes the calendar a little bit smaller, but it also is going to fit uh, better on a wider variety of screens. And they can always, the end user can always adjust uh, the calendar. They can click on a link and see the thing full screen. Um, but this just makes it fit easier on the page where you have it embedded. But that's an option that's totally up to you. Okay, so once you have uh, everything set up in here, I'm not going to go through all of those different settings, but you can see, kind of explore those on your own and see how that works. Uh, we click on this update HTML to make sure that we've got everything in there the way that we want it. And then we want to select this code and then do a right click and copy or a control C or a command C, uh, you know, depending on how you want to, uh, how you want to go about copying that. But we do need to copy that code. Next thing we do is we go back into our Google or our, go back into our Moodle course. And since we're using the boost theme, things look maybe a little bit different than we're used to. I'm going to click on the gear in the upper right hand corner here, and then I'm going to turn editing on. And now you see I've got my options to edit everything. So what I want to do in my topic is I want to add an activity or a resource. And we're going to scroll down in our options here, and we are going to add a resource that is a label okay we click on add and then we need to put in our label text now it's not going to do just to pull just to paste our information directly into this box we actually need to paste it in as HTML so we can click on this little arrow to expand our editing toolbar and then over here on the right hand side you'll see it says HTML so when I click on that that's going to get rid of my editor, and now I'm just doing straight HTML. Then my next step is going to be to do a control V or a uh, right click and paste. And you see I've got all my parameters right here. So if you wanted to make any changes, you could also do that in this part without having to go back to the get the embed code. And then if I click on this HTML button again, it gives me a preview so I can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at and what my page is going to look like when I put it on the when I put it on the course. Then I'm going to click save and return to course. And now I have a new label with my Google Calendar embedded in it. Students can then click on this and see an agenda view. They can also go in and uh, change the different calendars if you have multiple calendars that are on there. And then if they want to see the whole thing, they can just click on the Google Calendar icon and then it'll open it up in here. So that's how you embed a Google Calendar onto a Moodle page.